Now we're going to take a look at some experiences and some opinions of how they want the role of men and women in the Pacifica community moving forward. I have a very kind of different opinion now of what um, tradition and values cultural tradition and values are because I feel like it's, it's changed over time especially with the influence of colonization and Christianity and, and, and that kind of thing. For example one of the things that I've noticed both my parents don't smack so that they're, they're very um that was very different in their families and so us as children that we were never smacked. Generations before that was the way like there was no smacking but then there was this influence where like you know that discipline was made through that way and so um yeah it's kind of those kind of things where i'm like okay is this actually cultural or is this influenced uh, and one of the things i am very strong on is uh respect and discipline uh in the family especially for the the elders for your mom and your dad um and for each other uh, that's very strong if you go to, especially when you go to the islands you'll see a bit more of that than you would probably see with Pacifica families here in uh, or outside of the island, outside of the islands. And so that's probably something I would like to see being kept and preserved, uh, but like definitely the equality standpoint for men and women to have equal share in the, the say in the household and also uh, division of labor at work or at home. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I have actually. Oh, not really. Not really. Yeah. Oh, yes, I have. When I'm in classes, they, I think they give me like different treatment as they probably give me like easier work because they think I'm dama or something and I get different like different work from uh, Palangi students because they're smarter than us. So, yeah, I think that's a big, uh, big one. School and work um, being spoken down to, um, as if I couldn't speak English. Yeah, that's a big one. But, um, you know, it's a learning curve along the way as well. So um, even though we get stereotyped, I think that gives us more fuel to the, pe you know, to the fire to prove them wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. I showed up for two management interviews and I didn't even make it in the door the first one. Um, she just looked at me, uh, she took her time, and she looked me up and down, and then she said no. Um, and I went home that day, and that one has broken me worse than any other, um, any other situation has. To have that feeling where you walk into a room and someone just looks at you and makes you know, makes a judgment off their, of how they, they see you, that was, um, that's still something that, like, I will forever remember that one. I'll just get the, yeah, people do that, <laughs> even islanders. <laughs> Gender bias is experienced in all cultures of the world, but for Pacifica youth, walking the path in a country that doesn't always understand the stereotypes and challenges of cultural tradition and expectation is not easy. We are forging a new path as a New Zealand-born Pacifica who hold our traditions and culture as precious, but we want the opportunities and freedoms that our Palangi friends have. Proud to be Pacifica!